and gentlemen. Yeah. Whew. That drip. Yeah. Okay. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, John Carnage here, and today bring you guys another fishing video i'm going to spend a day out here trying to catch some carp and catfish i'm of course going to do just normal multi-species fishing got to catch bait got some worms you know brought my crappie jig rod you know all that good stuff but i'm going to chum some corn and try to get on some carp i'm going to chum corn in this same spot chum a lot come back in a couple days on tuesday and see what i can catch i'm back in a pocket i fished back here before and catfished back in uh, the winter actually uh, trying to hit these spots farther down the creek because I'm farther up the creek right now in a little bit of shallower water in this little pocket in this area uh, you know up shallow just trying to see if I can find some carp up here feeding uh, hopefully no bass boaters come back here and start just beating the banks if I catch one carp I'll be so happy if I can catch a catfish too I'll be good but I haven't caught many carp I've caught a few carp uh you know, and like little pay lakes and stuff uh, that my friend took me to, which I'm not a big fan of pay lake fishing. Uh, I've caught only one wild carp, uh, you know, like out in a creek. So I'm trying to get better at carp fishing. I see tons of wakes over here and it's not from the boat either. I saw some bubbles, could have been, been a turtle, could have been some methane or something. Could have been a carp. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and chum some corn and catch some bait to get my catfish baits out in the water and just, get to sit in here on my ass one thing i noticed when i got out here was i left my rod holders my uh, stake rod holders that you stick in the ground at the house they're not good for catfish but they are good for carp Man, that is a pretty bluegill. I'm not sure what kind of fish I really want to use as bait, but a bluegill is not on my uh, top top list. Probably a green sunfish or something like that. Well, there's two casts, two bites over here by this tree. That's a small bluegill. Should have brought my little live well thing. I would I would have put him in like a well. He's a male, because he's real long. There's three casts. Three fish. My bale flipped open. What is that, it's a crappie? Or a white perch? I think it's a crappie, yeah, it's crappie. Sitting on this tree. All right, here's a small bluegill. I'll use him as bait. So the two setups that I'm using are uh, pretty much just my bass setups. This is a seven foot casting uh, ugly stick, GX2 medium action with an Abu Garcia Pro Max and an Ultra Max, uh, 10 pound Stren, low vis green. This is just a Carolina rig with a, an eighth ounce weight to a size four Gamakatsu octopus hook. Oh, what is that? That's a fish. Yo, I'm not even joking. What is this? This ain't no carp. That is a big bluegill, I think. That's a carp. Guys, this is a fucking carp. Dude, I've had this bait in the water. That's a catfish, okay. Whew. That's still exciting as shit, bro. I've had this bait in the water for like fucking 15 minutes. That happened a lot faster than I thought it would. Let's go, dude. We already got a catfish. Little channel cat, that's all I need. I'm not after any monsters today. I didn't have my rod holders, but I have, uh, there's like a root right here on the bank. It's like a hard clay bottom here and everywhere. There's a root, and that's what I have my rod sitting in. It's pretty strong. This guy's shitting out some like algae looking stuff. He's probably been eating, I don't know what the hell. But that's not like a runny shit. Looks like he's been eating grass or something. Only one pound channel cat. He's real pretty though. He has some green on him. That's a fish, baby. That's exciting as hell. 
there's a bass that's about a pound that's just cruising back and forth between my lines over here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, probably another channel. Oh my gosh, the adrenaline. My heart is pumping. This is a little bigger. Oh my gosh. The adrenaline. Just seeing a rod go down like that. Oh my gosh, you gotta love it. This fish has a smaller mouth than the last one, but is... Eh, it's about the same size, but... I don't know, it fought harder. I wonder uh, if one was a male and one's a female, or the difference between them. I thought this fish was like eight inches long, but this is like an 11, 12 inch fish. So that one that I was talking about earlier, that didn't want anything to do with my worm or anything, which he's still swimming around or she, I think he, uh, that fish is on a bed was probably close to two pounds, honestly. Crappie are spawning, they have all their dark colors, their spawning colors. Now they're spawning or post-spawn or something, I don't know. Uh, I just know that these colors are pretty. They're not that dark, but they're darker than they usually are. So it's over a week later, and I'm here at a different spot. Uh, on day one, I didn't catch any more catfish or carp after those two little channels that you saw. The wind picked up to like 15, 20 miles an hour. It was really strong. And there's still so many boats and kayaks out there. That's how it is in the warmer months on public lakes anyway. I can't complain too much about it. And I'm gonna put more time in on the lake because I'm not at the lake right now. I'm actually at a creek. When I came here for the first time back in the spring of last year, I believe, so a little bit over a year ago, I saw 20 carp in this creek uh, backed up in this one spot. And they were all on the surface, just, just sitting in the sun, swimming around. And one of them I saw that swam right up beside the bank where I was, was at least 20 pounds. And I've came back here twice trying to catch some of those carp on my catfish gear because it's so snaggy around here. There's trees everywhere, there's brush everywhere. So I've always been scared I'm gonna break off on a fish. Today I'm gonna go up the creek a little bit, uh, hopefully away from all those trees and snags. And I'm going to try to catch some carp here. Hopefully there's some easy carp to catch here. Uh, one of my New Year's resolutions was to catch more carp, specifically from this creek. And it's May and I, I still haven't been here because I don't get to come out here as much as I want to. So when I got here, I pulled up to the spot that I fished in the past. I saw a couple carp. Could have fished there, but decided not to because of the snags. Even though I probably could have made it work. I walked down, I don't know, 500 yards, 400 yards. And here I am in a very shallow spot, but this is the first, you know, solid little island looking thing that I could actually fish. There's some trees and snags around here, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So I brought a can of corn, but I also brought some pack bait. This is the Jello corn and breadcrumb pack bait. I also invested in a hair rig and some fake corn. It was only $10 to, you know, buy pack bait and buy some fake corn. And I guess if I don't get anything here within the next four hours or so, three or four hours, maybe two, I don't know. I'll, depends on how I'm feeling. I'm gonna move back over there where I saw that one jump. A beautiful, beautiful red ear. Look at this red ear. Yeah, he's got hooked pretty bad, so I'm gonna get him back ASAP. I'm gonna just cut the line and let him go. I just caught a red breast, not a red breast, a red ear and a pumpkin seed back to back. No way. No, this has to be a red ear. Yeah, this is another red ear. It's not the same one, but it's just as fat and just as pretty. That's crazy. <laughs> this could be a pumpkin seed, but I think it's a red ear due to his yellow belly. But it did have, have all that blue on its face. Is that an eagle? What the fuck was that? I hooked a big fish as that fish hit the as that bird hit the water. This is a big red ear is what this is. See, this is a red ear. I think those other ones are pumpkin seeds to be honest. 
Tank, this one was on a bed too. Look at his dark tail, his dark colors. Fuck yes, buddy. I just hooked another big sunfish. I never get tired of this creek. I could fish this thing all freaking day. The thing is full of eggs. Just full of them. Look at that. This little bluegill is full of eggs too. Look how fat this thing is. Oh, another good one. Oh, no, a big one, a big one. An even bigger big one. I think this is the biggest fish I've caught on this rod so far. This is a light action. This is pushing 10 inches. Whew. Gotta love big red ear. Yes, sir. That's that big end I saw over there. Look at him rip that line. I got a fucking whale on here. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's, that's bigger than that 14. Dude, this thing is gone. Dude, where is he going? Where are you going, cuz? No, I don't want to lose you. You're like a 20 pounder, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, I'll go ahead, it's still just rip and drag. It's just gone, dude. It's just fucking gone. Fuck. It's just gone. The fish is just gone. It, it's, it's in this fucking ocean, dude. It's gone. Oh my gosh. There's, there's nothing I can do, dude. This thing's big. So, a few minutes ago, I walked over there and I saw a big ass tail in the water. Just a big tail. And uh, then I, I quickly ran back over here and sat down, just sat my ass down. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you about the audio. I took my audio a little bit ago and my phone was dead, which is what I use to record my audio with my external microphone. I'm making ground on it, but my phone was dead, so I was like, fuck. So I checked the last time I had the audio on, and it was, you know, way down there at a different spot. Yes, dude, he came out of this tree, and he's over on this side now where it's more open. So I didn't get the audio from me catching or netting or anything about those last two fish. The first one uh, was a 14. The other one was, was bigger than the first one, and then I, it broke off on a tree right here. So I'm just so scared using all this light line. I mean, it's tons of fun. They'll rip drag like fucking whales, but I'm so scared I'm going to lose the fish because I don't know when the last time I said that in this video. When I came here initially, yeah, I said that in the intro. came here initially with catfish gear. Oh, I feel him hitting this, a tree down there. Get away from it. Okay, he's moving. He's still just pulling, dude. He's about to go for another run. He's going to take at least 10 minutes to get in. Yes, and I got audio this time. I'm gonna keep checking my audio. I'm recording. I'm gonna make sure I got the uh, audio. Same setup as the other two that I caught them on. Just corn, just corn in a hair rig. One of these days, I might have two GoPros where I can have one behind me and then one on my head. So 
so you can have a better view and he's going back over towards the trees please stay out of the trees dude that's this is where that's where i broke off on the other one got right in this tree right here So the reason I have a landing mat here, this fish just fucking looks pregnant too. I don't know if this one's on a bed and it's a female or if it's just fat and it just eats real well in this creek. But um, I have this landing mat here. You use a landing mat for carp fishing because their slimes are real important to their health. So you don't want to get the fish all dirty and get dirt all over it, get into the grass or anything. You want to keep it safe. I have a water bottle here, some water. The bottom fin, if you can see this, the bottom fin on this fish is all gnarled up, it's cut. When you pick up a carp, you put your hand behind its gills, behind its pectoral fins here, and another one either on the tail or by its anal fin, in front or behind its anal fin. Uh, so in this case, I'm behind its anal fin. And uh, there we go. He's all, she's all pissed off. She's missing a couple of scales. She got her dorsal fin up. So I think I've sit here and smiled at the camera enough to get a good picture from the GoPro footage. Unless this rod behind me goes down, then I'm done fishing for today. And if you don't like hearing me talk, then the video is done. I've gone carp fishing a few times in the last six months, or I guess the last nine months or so. But I've been wanting to catch a carp, and I've been saying it like every single week for the same amount of time, like six to nine months. And I'd say all that time and all that hard work definitely paid off today. I got two good fish, two 10 pluses, a 14 and a 17. And the other one I lost was about the same size. And I'm even more happy that I caught that 17 after I broke off on a good one and had no audio for the first one. That just completely saved the video being able to catch that fish there. As I said in the beginning of the video, um, I'm using a hair rig with a piece of fake corn. You can get this corn a uh, 30 pack for $5 on Amazon, the Gamakatsu hooks size four octopus and I switched from a eighth ounce weight to a half ounce bell sinker here because I was watching some underwater footage of carp and the footage I was watching I think the fish were a little bit pressured they've been caught before but there's a rig called the bolt rig uh, and I don't remember the other name for it but it's called a bolt rig pretty much you have all this other fancy stuff on here but the purpose of it is when the fish picks up the bait and it feels the hook It'll, they turn their head and they just like whip their head real quick to try to get away from whatever just poked them. But it sets the hook on them and it, it holds the weight. So if you have a lighter weight, they can't really set the hook on themselves as easily. That's my theory anyway. So I went up to a, a, a heavier weight. It helps you cast and also it helps set the hook on the fish or helps the fish set the hook on itself. Hopefully you guys got some enjoyment out of this video and I'm sure some of you learned a thing or two. I feel like, I wonder how many people that watch these videos, I get an average like 30 to 50 people that watch these. I wonder how many actually fish. Either way, I appreciate you guys watching. I have so much fun making these. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.